Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CSOH plus HI. So the first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Cesium hydroxide, that's a strong base, so it's going to be aqueous. Hydroiodic acid, also, this is a strong acid, strong electrolyte, that's going to be aqueous. We have our cesium iodide. In general, iodides are soluble, so this is soluble as well. And then we have water, that's a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that water is a liquid. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. If I look at the reactants, I see I have this CS plus a cesium ion. I have it in the products as well. That's a spectator ion. We're going to cross that out. The iodide ion, again, in the products. Spectator ion, cross it out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for CSOH plus HI. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for cesium hydroxide plus hydroiodic acid. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a plus and a minus. That gives us a net charge of zero here in the reactants. Products, this is neutral, net charge of zero. And the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CSOH plus HI. Thanks for watching.